guys. Welcome back to my channel. I am just getting ready in my new bathroom. I mean, can you even? If you've missed the house updates and all of the moving vlogs, you can check out my channel. A couple of them on there and then I'll probably do like a full house tour at some point once all of our furniture is in. But today I thought it would be really fun to kind of walk you guys through behind the scenes of a six figure online course launch. So if you missed it, I just announced on my Instagram this morning, I am doing a sale of my online course academy bundle. So it's my online course academy, passive income academy, my Instapreneur course, which is like Instagram for entrepreneurs, and then a bunch of other really amazing bonuses for a really amazing price. But anyways, that's beside the point. Right now, I'm gonna just kind of, for anybody else who is an online course creator and wants to know like what goes on behind the scenes, that's what this video today is about. So I'm pretty excited. So as I get ready right now, I thought I would just kind of take you through what I've done so far today and like what my launch is kind of looking like. So, so this is a new sunscreen that I just got from my esthetician yesterday. So we're gonna try it out together for the first time. But anyways, I, over the last week or so, I scheduled out emails to send to my email list for the next seven days of the launch and Honestly, up until really recently, I wrote all of my emails for my launches myself. I was my own copywriter, which is definitely doable, but it was really nice because these last two launches, I've had a copywriter write my emails for me, which has been amazing. So then all I have to do is like schedule them out to go out every day of my launch. So I had that prepared before today. So this morning I just kind of woke up my email had already sent out. I woke up to like a couple of sales. It was amazing. Okay, I like this tinted moisturizer. It's really light. It's, what is it? PCA, PCA Skin Tinted Moisturizer, SPF 45. Gotta get the SPF in, you know? I also had a facial yesterday that was absolutely amazing. So yeah, other than my email going out this morning, I also got on Instagram stories. I posted about the sale price, what's included, who it's for, answered a bunch of Q and A's for people. And then the rest of today, I just kind of am available to answer people's questions. Oh, I'm using some of this. It's a Charlotte Tilbury like primer that I got the other day. They totally, the guy in Charlotte Tilbury totally just sold me on it. I was like, yes, talk dirty to me. I love Charlotte Tilbury stuff. I use her like foundation, primer, concealer, pretty much everything, bronzer, powder, <laughs> lipstick, lip liner. One of my favorite brands for sure. This is the Flawless Filter foundation that I use. So I'm gonna use that over the primer that I just showed you. So far this video is like all over the place. Hopefully you guys are following along. So yeah, anyways, I did some Instagram stories. Then this afternoon after I get ready, I'm going to probably film a couple of reels to post for the rest of this week because I'm actually going to Cancun slash Tulum somewhere in Mexico. I honestly don't even know where. <laughs> it's for a wedding, a friend of mine's getting married next week. So we're gonna be out of town at the end of my OCA launch. So I wanna have like all of my reels and social media content like prepped and ready to go. Also, by the way, for somebody who wants to use foundation but doesn't like like a super heavy look, I highly recommend this. It's the Flawless Filter. You can use it kind of on its own or if you need more coverage, you can put a little bit more foundation on top of it. Like I usually use this and then I will put some of this like thicker. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. I'll usually put some of this on top to just cover up my dark spots. But yeah, I remember when I was like first launching my online courses and live launches like what i'm doing right now were so stressful to me because just everything was all over the place didn't know what i was doing it was it's such a like mind fuck when you are launching because there are ups and downs in terms of sales like usually you'll get a bunch of sales when you first open the doors and there's a sale price going on and then after that there's like a little bit of a lull in terms of sales until like the doors are closing and then usually a bunch of people enroll then too. And it's like, you really have to be mentally strong and stay consistent and continue to post about your course launch. Even if you feel super annoying being promotional like every single day, you just have to keep doing it because you never know. There's 
always so many people who are watching all of your stories and they need to see all of the emails they need to see all of the stories they need to see all of the testimonials they need to see all of the q a for like seven days straight before they're ready to purchase your course so you can't let those lulls of sales get you down and feel like oh my god i better stop talking about this because like what if people unsubscribe don't worry about it. You have to remember that there's lots of people still interested. And I have to say, I didn't plan out the timing of this launch perfectly because my assistant is actually out of town on her vacation this week. So it's all me. Um, I'm actually answering the questions from like, I have a little sales page chat. I use this software called Drift. So people can chat with me in real time from the sales page if they have questions. And somebody just said, do you do a payment plan on this offer? And yes, I do a payment plan on my offer, but it's much more expensive long-term and you don't get any of the bonuses. So I do that because I want to encourage people to pay in full. Obviously there's a lot more risk involved when somebody joins and pays for a payment plan. There's so much more risk involved, like their credit card could expire and they have to update it. They might just default on their payment, things like that. It just requires like a lot more support from my team, a lot more back and forth with them, getting their credit card updated. So it's just so much better to get people to pay in full. But I also understand that that's not doable for everybody. So I like to offer a payment plan. There is a look at the sales so far. Launch started this morning, maybe three hours ago. And I think we've had like 10 sales so far. So 10 sales, my course is about $2,400. So that's almost $25,000 in three hours. <laughs> so I definitely think we're gonna hit over six figures on this launch, but to be quite honest, I kind of have just stopped setting like monetary goals for myself in terms of launches because at this point I know that my course is great and I know <laughs> I know that sounds really like conceited but at this point we've had over 2100 students enroll we've had some of some of the most amazing success stories from my students like hitting six figure months hitting seven figures even just like scaling from zero to five thousand dollar months like with small audiences like all of those things are just so amazing so i know that my course works i know that it's amazing and i realized for me that like setting too much expectation on how much money i make in a launch just kind of stressed me out and it took a lot of the fun out of launching and it's like having an online course business working for yourself is supposed to be fun. So if, if it's not fun anymore, you really have to reassess like what you're doing, changing up the way that you do it or changing up the way that you work and just making it more enjoyable because nobody wants to be working for themselves in an environment that just feels shitty, you know? Okay, so I am just putting some concealer on right now. This is actually, I lied, this is not Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. And to be honest, I am running out of this. I need to get some more. I went to Sephora the other day and tried this NARS one, but I think I, I hate asking for help when I'm at Sephora because I just feel like then they like attack you and don't leave you alone. So I tried to color match myself and I didn't do a very good job. I got too dark of a color, so I need to go back and like get the correct color. Anyways, Charlotte Tilbury, this is the Flawless Finish Powder. And I like this powder because it's like really light. It doesn't leave that like cakey foundation-y look on your face, which is not a vibe. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with some bronzer. Again, Charlotte Tilbury. I think, I don't know what this is called, but it's just a bronzer. Anyways, I'm so excited to go to Mexico next week. I have so much to do before then. I need to like get a spray tan. I just ordered a bunch of bikinis. I need to get my nails done. You know, all the like pre, pre vacation things. And then I also need to just get everything for the launch like finalized because the last two days of the launch are like right when we head to Mexico. Luckily my assistant will be back by then. So I will have some help, but it's just a little bit of planning, but I will, mention everything that I'm doing in this launch for you guys. So if you're somebody who is launching a course and you wanna know like my launching process, this video will be very helpful for you, but also this is what I teach in my online course academy. So if you want my entire process, definitely check out that course. I will link to a free training below this video. Okay, now I am using this Patrick Ta Brow Lamination Gel. I like it, but I'm gonna be honest, it's a little bit like, sticky once it dries it makes your brows like a little bit crusty um, 
It's a gross word, crusty. Honestly, you guys, I am just gonna throw this out there because I feel like sometimes when you like speak things into existence, they happen. But I've been really thinking about restarting my podcast again. I did a podcast for like almost maybe a year and a half to two years. And then I just got really burnt out. Okay, now I'm doing the NARS blush. This is, I think this is orgasm is the color. Um, yeah, I just got really burnt out because I was doing the podcast by myself and it was really fun, but it's really hard to continue a conversation going when like, it's just you, you know? Like you're talking to no nobody and you just have to like keep the energy high. You, you really have to plan out everything that you're gonna talk about. Cause I don't know about you guys. I can't just like riff on nothing for 30 minutes, <laughs> 30 minutes to an hour. So it got kind of exhausting, but I'm gonna throw this out there. I'm looking for like a podcast host, somebody who loves online courses, money, manifesting, pop culture, beauty, skincare, wellness, all of those things. And ideally somebody that lives in LA so they can come over to my podcast studio. You guys, I literally have a podcast studio in the house now. It's not fully put together. It's gonna be like a YouTube podcasting studio in one, but I imagine, I envision having my podcast partner come over and record with me in there. Okay, and so I'm throwing that out there in case that's you. <laughs> Let me know. Okay, so this is MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, Soft and Gentle. But anyways, I use this as, you guys, if you're familiar with, if you're like a makeup person, the, the brand Becca used to have this amazing highlighter, but they went out of business. So I got this and I like it. Kind of serves a similar purpose. Put it on cheekbones, chin, forehead, and nose. My life is a constant struggle of how many things can I do at once. I'm like still getting ready, just shot a reel. The dogs are barking, my Instacart is here. I need to go get it. I'm also trying to DM with people, chat with people. I really need to start meditating or something because it's like no wonder I feel crazy oftentimes, but I also can recognize that during a launch, things are usually a little bit crazier, but it's like a good crazy, you know, like I'm doing a ton of things, but also I'm making a lot of sales. So it's like, a lot of chaos and just trying to manage to keep everything together and not lose my shit during this chaotic and amazing time. Okay, you guys, hair is done. Instacart is here. And then let's see, it's about 12 o'clock right now. So I'm gonna have some lunch and then I'm gonna try and finish shooting some reels. And then I'm going to try and meet up with a friend from Instagram. Later this afternoon, we're trying to figure out a place that's like in between both of us to meet. Cause I feel like it's so easy to just get like stuck in my routine of working from home. And I'm really trying to like go out of my way to like meet up with people outside the house and like get out of my like work zone mentality. Cause I get so focused on what I'm doing that a lot of times like I will prioritize getting work done over like having fun. And to be totally honest, like at this point in my life and my business, it's like, I have the freedom to literally do whatever the fuck I want. But a lot of times, like, I think it's just like this hardcore, like driven mentality of me that like, I will prioritize work even though I have the freedom to do other things. So I'm trying to like retrain myself to like go enjoy myself and know and trust that like everything is going to work out even if I'm, you know, going to the spa, even if I'm playing. And it's like, I know that this happens. I make sales every time I go to the spa. So I don't know why this is like such a hard concept for me, but I think it's just because I'm like innately such a hard worker and I just love my business and I love making money and I love helping people that <laughs> it's easy to get stuck in that, in that spot, I guess. Let me know if anybody else who's an entrepreneur understands that. Okay, hi guys. It is like a day and a half since we last spoke. I am wearing a very, oh my God, my outfit. Look at my shoes. Uggs and a very summery outfit because it's like 80 degrees here today. Definitely not fall like. But anyways, I wanted to catch you up on what has happened the past couple of days. So the last time we spoke, I was just about to head out to meet a friend at the Four Seasons. We met up and had some coffee and it was really fun. We met from Instagram and I think we're gonna definitely be friends. We definitely hit it off. It was really fun. And then yesterday morning, <laughs> mid launch stuff, I went and actually got lip filler which is why my lip is a little bit bruised. For those of you, I think I mentioned this in a previous vlog and then I made like a whole TikTok about it where I was super swollen. I went and got my old lip filler dissolved because it was starting to migrate a little bit like into my upper lip. 
It was very minimal, but it was just something small that bothered me when I looked at myself on camera. So I got it dissolved and then refilled. Now the shape looks a lot better. Obviously still really minimal, but my natural lips are just really thin. So I like to give them like just a little zhuzh. I think they look really good. So once the bruise goes down, they will be perfect. And then I went and got a root touch up before Tulum. My hair like has been fading to a, like a kind of red color and I like to keep it super dark. So went and did that. And I wanted to let you guys know kind of all about what's going on with my launch. So if you're somebody who is launching an online course, definitely like steal these tips and strategies that I'm telling you about because I swear they work so well. Let me give you actually an update on the amount of enrollments that we've had so far because I know people love to follow along with like the revenue and everything. So hold on one second. So we have a, this is teachable by the way that I'm showing you guys the behind the scenes of. We have a big spike here, 66,000 yesterday, 30,000 and 32,000. That was the first day of the launch. So the grand total for the month so far is 168. It is only about two and a half, three days into my launch and we've already passed 168,000, which obviously the amount of money that you make in your launch is really gonna depend on a variety of factors. It's gonna depend on how big your audience is. It's gonna depend on the price of your course how many times, like how long you've been selling and how good you are at selling, which honestly is something that anybody can learn how to do. I, I didn't start my business being like a great marketer. It's, it's a skill that you have to practice. Having said that, there are some really simple strategies and tips that you can follow if you're launching an online course, if you're selling anything online that really will help increase your sales. So when I have a live launch like I'm doing right now, it's I think about seven days is the length of time for this one. So I have an email going out to my list every single day. And throughout the seven day span, I have different forms of urgency because you guys have probably heard that thing before that's like your audience needs to be exposed to your offer like 10 times or something before they're ready to buy it. So you wanna give them multiple touch points. You wanna be following up with them via email every single day. You wanna be posting on your Instagram stories about your offer and who it's right for and what's included every single day. And honestly, you're going to feel like a bit of a broken record. It feels a little bit exhausting, but just know that it's worth it, okay? You have to do these things in order to get the maximum amount of sales. So the first form of urgency I had, so the first 48 hours of my launch, I had a significant sale going on. So it was over $1,500 off the price of my course, plus three additional bonuses. So the reason why I do so many big bonuses at the very beginning of my launch is that I want to get as many people in my course in those first 48 hours as possible. And the thing is, you guys, if you don't give people a reason to purchase right now, they're usually going to wait. You know, they're gonna wait until the last moment. They're gonna be like, oh, like, let me think about it. I'll buy it when I'm ready. No, you wanna give people the urgency that like, no, now is the best time get off the fence, get out your wallet. It's time to enroll now because you're gonna get the best price. You're gonna get all these amazing bonuses and they're going to be expiring if you don't get in in this first 48 hours. So last night was the end of the first 48 hours of my launch. So all, well, not all of the bonuses, two out of the three bonuses expired. So for the next 48 hours, the sale, the promo price of $1,500 off is still going on. And then one of the bonuses is still available. So the next 48 hours, we still have the sale price and one bonus. So I'm gonna be promoting that. And then I'm gonna be, especially tomorrow, reminding people, okay, if you don't enroll now, you're not gonna get any of the bonuses. So now is the best time. And then the last couple of days of the launch is, okay, this is the last chance to get the $1,500 off promo price. If you don't enroll in these last couple of days, the price goes back up to almost $4,000 for this bundle. So the value of my bundle with all the bonuses is valued at over like $9,000. So if you got in in the first 48 hours, like you really got a steal. Obviously people can still enroll the next couple of days. It's just expiring bonuses. So what I like to tell people too is you have to have some really, t really good urgency at the beginning to get as many people in at the beginning as possible. And then you might have a little bit of a lull during like the middle part of your launch Lunch, but then you have another really, really good form of urgency at the end. Usually it's like uh, doors are closing or price is going back up or something like that. Again, to get as many people off the fence as possible. And having these different like touch points throughout 
allows you to connect with all different types of people. So some people are like early bird people. They wanna get in at the best price. They wanna get all the bonuses. They want access to you, you know, whatever else you're offering. So they'll enroll right away. Some people are kind of like procrastinators. They will wait until the very last second. They want to wait until they know they only have a couple minutes left because it's that like countdown timer form of urgency that makes them feel like, oh my gosh, I need to get in now. And that's another tip that I would really recommend doing too is using some sort of countdown timer so that people know exactly how much time is left on the sales page. They know exactly how much time is left they have before they need to enroll by. So there's a couple different things you can use for countdown timers on like your sales page and in your emails. Motion mail is one that is free. And then deadline funnel is the one that I use. It has a lot more like capabilities. I love deadline funnel. And the cool thing about deadline funnel too is that you can have the countdown timer on the sales page and then you can set it so like when the deadline ends, people are then redirected to another page. So if people miss the deadline and maybe you wanna send them to a page that says like, sorry, you missed it, sign up here for the next time we launch or something like that, you can do that and it'll do it automatically. So again, you don't have to be going in there and doing anything and we love automations, right? So that's another thing I should say too, is that it sounds like a lot. It sounds like during your launch, you're gonna be having to do so many different things, but honestly, you're gonna have all of this planned out ahead of time so that during the launch that you have scheduled, there's not anything that you actively need to be doing besides posting to like Instagram or posting to social media about your launch because everything on the back end is going to be automated. This is the this is the strategy that I teach inside the Online Course Academy bundle is like you plan everything out, have it automated, set to go. All of the timers are working, all of the links are working. You know, people are going to get redirected automatically at the end of your launch without you having to do anything except show up on social media, respond to people's DMs, respond to questions if necessary. And that really makes the whole process just so much so much easier and you can really just enjoy it and like celebrate. My lunch just got here, but then I think Eric and I, like we got some, wait, let me show you what we got. This is not gonna come as a surprise to anybody. So in our new kitchen, we have this fancy little wine fridge and I got two bottles of Veuve Clicquot. We probably, we probably won't drink both of them, but definitely one of them to celebrate. This is our first time opening up these big doors since we've moved in. So we are drinking our champagne. Out here we still have no furniture. So we're just using these old chairs from our old house and sitting out by the pool enjoying the sunshine and cheersing all of our new OCA students so far. I don't know how many students exactly, but we just had, I think, another sale or two. So now the total is at like 171. But I will keep you guys updated as more roll in. So we just moved from the backyard up to the balcony on our, off of our bedroom, because um, the like landscapers were here. We, believe it or not, actually haven't even sat up here before and it's so nice. It's such a nice little balcony. And then my mom just bought us a housewarming gift, ice bucket <laughs> for champagne. <laughs> Clearly my words are not all here because we've been drinking champagne, but we're gonna hang out here for a little bit longer. I'm just still responding to people who have questions about the launch via DM and then the sales page chat on my phone, but it's really not that much. Okay, so I just did my skincare routine. I am about to order food. I wanted to give you guys an update on the total number of sales. Also, I'm just getting ready to order Postmates and this is what my phone says. You're a regular. So clearly I've been ordering a lot of Postmates. Let me give you an update. 178. Hi guys, okay, it is the next day. I'm just putting my hair up. Oh wow, yeah, that does not look great. I just went and got my nails done. So I went just like for a super kind of natural muted look for Tulum. I'm going to a wedding next week in Tulum. My dress is like a hot pink, very bright. So I thought it would be good to just go kind of for a neutral nail, but I wanted to give you kind of an update of what my day today looked like in terms of work since we are still in the middle of a launch, but really I haven't 
done anything. So <laughs> my email sent out this morning, but it was all automated, so I didn't mess with that. I did post a reel today. I DM'd with a few people who had questions about the launch. Then I went for a hike and I saw Lisa Rinna, which was pretty exciting. I love a housewife moment. Went and got my nails done and really just kind of relaxed today. I didn't really do much. So it's crazy to think about like what my launches look like now in terms of stress level and ease compared to what they were like a couple years ago and the amount of money that you can make with an ease filled like stress-free launch which is pretty exciting but i also wanted to give you guys a money update and so it's not even the end of the launch yet we still after today there is one bonus ending today so it's the email scripts bonus written by my copywriter so everybody who enrolls today is going to get that bonus and then after tonight's bonus expires all the bonuses are gone so the last form of urgency for people is to get in before the price increase i can't remember what we were last at last time i checked in with you guys but for the month we are at 200,000 for the day we are at 28,000 yesterday we did 71 28 so not bad for the past couple days, not bad at all. But I think I mentioned this to you guys earlier is that most people will actually enroll right at the end, like right before the price goes back up to full price because it's like a $1,500 off like promo that we're running right now. So I'm honestly really happy with what we've done so far. I mean, even if we just ended right now, I'd, I'd call that a pretty good month. I don't know about you, but I definitely think we're gonna have some more people in the next couple of days. But having said that, I am getting ready to head to Tulum Mexico for a wedding. So I've got a bunch of stuff to do this weekend, spray tan, outfits. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do another outfit haul video for you guys for the Tulum outfits. But yeah, I have so much to do. So I'm gonna end the vlog here and definitely hit the subscribe button. If you guys are interested in more like business income report type videos like this, definitely let me know. Um, I also share a lot about like more of the behind the scenes of my business on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely come say hey over there. And and thank you guys so much for watching. I will check in with you next week from Tulum and I'm so excited. Bye.